Hello, I'm Garrett Krzyzewski. Today we're going to discuss the dry amp biological indicator for dry heat sterilization processes. The conventional biological indicator for dry heat sterilization has been an inoculated paper strip packaged in a glassine envelope. These biologicals have a certain limitation though. In higher temperature cycles, in around the 180 degree centigrade range, the paper strip and the glassine material can become brittle, and in very long cycles, they may start to degrade. To meet the need of these higher temperature exposures, we have the dry amp, dry heat biological indicator. Instead of an inoculated paper strip, the spores are inoculated into this sand-based carrier and sealed into a glass ampule. The advantage of the dry amp is that in this configuration we can withstand sterilization temperatures in excess of 300 degrees centigrade without the biological indicator degrading. Like any biological indicator, we want to place the inoculated carrier in the most difficult to sterilize location within our sterilization load. When the cycle is finished, we retrieve the biological indicator and take it to the area where we will culture the dry amp. The exposed dry amp indicator will be cultured by your trained microbiologist either in a laminar flow bench or a biosafety cabinet. We'll show you the process here so you can see what it looks like. We culture the spores from the dry amp by snapping the lid on the biological and then aseptically pouring the contents of the dry amp into the tube of culture media. The spores are now in contact with their ideal culture medium and when incubated at 37 degrees centigrade for three days, positive cultures will turn the media from this red-orange color to bright yellow. Here you can see what a growth positive test result will look like. The tube on the right has turned yellow, which is indicative of microbial growth. The tube on the left has retained its original red orange color and is growth negative. Thanks for watching. For more information about Dryamp, please visit us at mesalabs.com.